Nali mweba bana bali kwata kadu kujumbu bana bali kwata imisango eshibi anunke chibe bananunka kwa enkuni bananunka kufidia kwati pachilo pachilo the problem yant my mother smells but you don't know the truth what you truth? don't know the truth what why truth are you talking away? about ba mayo bale piamu bale longa bale tapano fo bale longa bale chefe na masampiti yabo bala bwelela mona masampiti yabo bale longa bale ya Finished. Thank you. 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 Hi folks, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. It's Samir's Journey. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. So this video reacting to episode 12 of the Divorce Club. Yeah, a continuation from last week. So if you haven't checked out my last reaction video, you can check it out here. Then you can come back to this video. So let's get into it. So last week... We got a lot of drama so it's about this dude staying with his wife and her mother and her mother didn't want to move out and her mother is like the owner of the house like she's taking up all the rights and she's like in control of everything that's going on so this guy Suzio is tired of it he's tired of his his in-law his mother-in-law just being in control and just doing all sorts of crazy stuff around and the funny thing is his wife is like a miniature version of her mother so her mother is like controlling her. it's like it's like his wife is a puppet and the mother is like the puppet master controlling her and doing everything they're like the same they're like miniature ver- the, the the wife his wife is a major version of his mother it's like it's a bit disturbing it's really really weird like it's like anything that the mother whispers into her ear she takes it as fact and truth you know that kind of thing so in this episode secrets start to come out so in the last episode there's a clip i i didn't add and i didn't watch it properly i didn't pay attention to it so in that clip his wife this suzio guy's wife talked about suzio's mother having bad manners and she stinks so now in this episode she lets it out she tells the world about <laughs> Susie's mother and how she stinks and everything here 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 check it out Nali mweba bana bali kwata kadu kujumbu bana bali kwata imisango eshibi anunke chibe bananunka kwa enkuni bananunka kufidia kwati pachilo pachilo the problem yant Then also his mother in law you know his mother in law talks about why she doesn't leave the house and why she didn't want to leave because she's sick she's got high blood pressure and staying with her daughter is the safest option that she has in case she has any accidents or something happens to her the safest place she can live is with her daughter then since his, since this mother-in-law is always at home she, she usually watches what happens and everything you know then she says this sues your dude her daughter's husband has been talking to a 15 year old girl from the neighbor like a 15 year old kid like he talks to her and she's actually warned him that this kid is too young can't be talking to her about such stuff and all that but we don't know how true this is because this is a guy refuses it then we also get into the conversation with her father this Susie's wife's father his father-in-law he says he talks about some of the reasons why he left this woman he says she's got bad manners she's evil okay and she's dramatic she's full of drama like we, we've watched the first episode and we also watched the second episodes where we have th this situation and we've seen she does have drama and issues and also that she's she has been sleeping around she's a woman who had been sleeping around so he, he left her for it was this woman was going for six she was sleeping with 16 year old kids students kids school children is people that she had been sleeping with yeah so many secrets in this hey, people hide stuff so then you know to her defense like this woman she's smart and she's toxic she's she changes the subject like she jumps to something else and says you know what 
your wife has been sleeping with her boss like now transferring the attention from her to her daughter like she's like hey I'm happy enough fire these guys are bringing too much fire to me let me just move some of it and take it to my daughter so in, this is the first time I've ever seen this Suzu guy because like from the from episode 11 and this episode I thought he's like a soft dude like chilled whatever but once he gets that news like he gets in, he gets pissed and he has this reaction like check it out no don't 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 I'm, I'm gonna f- you up just listen I'll f- you up yeah. No, I, I don't. I, I think I've had enough of you. Please don't. Do you know what? I, I don't want to have anything to do with you. Listen to me. Listen to me. I, I do not want to have anything to do. You know what? I didn't expect him to react like this, but anyway, <laughs> people are different. I think the fire has been burning in him, and plus the disrespect and everything that he's been getting from his wife and his stepmom. This is just like. Lit an explosion. He just exploded. <laughs> so then, at some point in this video, they start talking about someone named Janet. So Janet is actually his mother-in-law's daughter. But then the father says that Janet kid is not his, like because you know it's impossible. They were divorced. How did she get pregnant when he was not there? So he believes it's not. She's not his daughter and she has another father somewhere else. We don't know. But then now the mother is saying, no, it's yours. Like, it's your kid, blah, blah. Now it's the the father-in-law and the mother-in-law talking about this Janet kid. Then at some point, the stepmom drops a bag. She drops a bomb and says, in fact, this this Janet kid, her father is this Suzio guy. Her son in law is the father of this Janet kid. I go first, Deutschman. What are you talking about? I go first, Melona. What are you talking about? How did I was you know Janet to Huh? I was Janet to What? I was Janet to you. What? You know, this is so surprising. And it's like this woman, like. I don't know what kind of voodoo or magic she uses like when she whispers into someone's ear. They take what she says as fact and truth. So immediately she says, this Janet kid is my son-in-law's child. You know, like, it's just surprising how the father, this, this Suzio guy's father-in-law gets and, and starts reacting. Check it out. I don't get it. I don't get it how this woman would just say something and the rest of her, her, her ex-husband and her daughter take it as fact that they react to it. Like, I was surprised with this, the father-in-law's reaction. So that's why we got this episode. But for me, some things didn't add up in this episode. Or maybe... I just need to rewatch the episodes. So, like the, when they talked about this Janet girl, so at some point in the video, they said Janet had graduated grade 12. That's when the father in law, Susie's father in law, came for the graduation or something like that. He appeared he gradu- when she graduated from grade 12. Now, the fact that this Susie guy and his wife have been married for what, about a year, according to the, the previous episode that we got they've been married for about a year so meaning and these guys look as if they're in their late 20s early 30s or mid 30s somewhere there in that range i would say from maybe 27 to 35 that, that age range according to me i don't know so for me then makes sense this and they say it's janet girl graduated grade 12 so, like for me, my thinking, my calculation is it's kind of impossible for this Suzio guy to be the father of that Janet kid. Because looking at the eight, their age and the age of the Janet kid, so they say she graduated grade 12, let's say grade 12, meaning she should be in, like her age should be about, let's say 16, 17, or 17, 18, somewhere there. It's kind of, to me, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's kind of impossible. This Janet kid has another father somewhere else. Yeah, so that was the only part that I found a bit strange. That didn't add up. But anyway, thanks for checking out this video, folks. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. Peace.